Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSE 2007 guys. Okay, so suppose we are given an implementation of a Q. So this is also belonging to Q question. Okay, so suppose you suppose you are given an implementation of a Q of integers. So they gave a Q. So let us take an example. Okay, so I took an example of a queue. Exactly. Okay. See, the operations that can be performed on the queue are is empty. So, returns true if the queue is empty or false otherwise. Okay. So, is empty is nothing but checking whether it is empty or not. That's it. Okay. Similarly, delete queue. Okay. That is nothing but deletes the element at the front. So, here we will be having front and here you will be having rar. Right. Yes. Similarly, insert is nothing but it will insert an element at the rar. Got it? Yes. It's quite simple. Right. Yes. Okay, so they gave a code like they are asking what exactly the code does, what it performs. Okay, so void f q q. So assume that this is our q. Okay, so the function f is called with q. Okay, so int i. Okay, so if q is not empty, what we are doing? Delete q. So you are deleting the first element. Okay. Okay, so you are deleting the first element and you are calling the f of q. Okay, so now I am getting the uh, thing like it is a recursive call, right? So it is calling itself, right? Yes. So let us start drawing the tree. So it will call f of q, okay, and it will say to insert the element. So what we have popped. So I will be writing f of q comma 1, okay. Similarly, the loop will continue. So 1 is popped out. So 1 is dequeued, okay. So f of q okay and similarly it will ask you to insert the second element similarly f of q it will ask you to implement the third element what's there in that similarly f of q the fourth element okay so now all elements are out so now what it will say it is empty means it will come out okay so now we are done with this part right so now we are left with this part so this will be done in the exact order this first this next and this next and this next so this f f is nothing but insert guys i think i wrote it in the wrong way so it should be i insert right so the function okay so these f's are nothing but insert so insert q comma 4 so what it is inserting first 4 after that 3 after that 2 after that 1 so now what q your q is consisting guys it is consisting the reverse values right yes so that is what the code is doing so it leaves the q unchanged so is it unchanged guys no it is reversed right clearly you can see yes so the second option is reverses the order of the elements yeah exactly this is what i was thinking right yes let us continue delete the element at the front of the q and insert it at the rear keeping the other elements in the same order it's not true right it is clearly reversing the whole q okay and so this option is also wrong this is also wrong Similarly, empty is the queue. Is the queue empty? No, it is just in the reverse order. Hence, option B is the correct option, guys. Okay? Yes. So, I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? Yes. So, in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay? Yes. So, let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.